Today we're going to look at milkweed as it appears in October. And it can appear in October here in Central California in many different forms. This is one form. It has no blossoms and it has nobody eating it and it hasn't got any pods on it yet. So that's what milkweed looks like before anything really happens to it. And it's not always in isolation. This is appearing in a kind of weedy flower bed. This is more typical of milkweed at this season. You can see you've got the fluffy silk with all kinds of little leaves on it. I mean seeds. The leaves are still on the plant. The pods, most of them have burst open, but you can see them here. What they look like when they're bursting and when the seeds are here. This is another patch where you can see just the pods bursting open, all the silk with all the seeds that are going to spread out here if the milkweed bugs don't get on them. And it doesn't look like the milkweed bugs have found these yet. Wait, there's a milkweed bug. Most of the time they come in colony. This one looks like an adult. Most of the ones I've seen are nymphs, but this one looks like an adult. I hope you can get a good view of him here. And they eat nothing but milkweed. Just milkweed. So if you find them on your other plants, you don't need to worry about them. Because all they're interested in is your milkweed. And we'll take another good look at this. Usually where there's one milkweed bug, you're going to find whole bunches of milkweed bugs. So I don't know what this guy's doing in isolation. But he's moving around here, having a good time. And I think they're interested in the seeds more than anything else. I'm really kind of surprised to see all this milkweed. I had no idea it was here till I started walking around. I knew I had one over by the house that I kind of take care of because I like to see it bloom. But these seeds seem to have gone all over. So we're seeing milkweed everywhere. Here's some more. You can see the pods haven't exploded on that part yet. Now here's another there's some more milkweed bugs. This one appears to be an adult that we see right here in front of us. Because you can see he's got his wings. But this one down here appears still maybe to be a nymph. I don't see any wings on that one. But you can see that you've got a colony of them here, and that's how they usually go after the plants. See, there's a whole bunch over there, too, and some over there caught in this little tree. So it gets around. Now, this particular kind of milkweed is toxic, and let's see, here's another patch. It's a toxic milkweed or so the books seem to indicate that the one that grows here in the West is toxic. So this one's got active colonies of the milkweed. These look like the nymphs again because they don't have their wings. They're busy little things. Can't tell here whether it's the seeds or the pods they're after. Maybe they help break open the pod so the seeds will come out. I don't know. There's some more down here. They're just all over it. But remember, they're not going to hurt anything but milkweed. It's the only thing they like to eat. There's more over here. I have no idea if there was this much milkweed. 
Okay, now there's an adult bug. And he's got nymphs right beside him. So they're occurring in both their adult form and their nymph form right on the same pods. What I'm really looking for is more monarch caterpillars. I found a monarch caterpillar yesterday, but it's a little farther into the garden. This is the plant I thought I saw the butter the caterpillar on yesterday. Maybe I didn't look carefully on those plants over there. But this is one where the pods have not burst open yet. They're still waving around here in the wind. And I would expect we're going to see some of the milkweed bugs moving in here pretty soon. It may be this one that had the caterpillar yesterday. Uh, I think it was actually right here because I can see where he was eating it. He may have gone to try to make himself a cocoon, a chrysalis. Or maybe he's still on here somewhere and I'm not seeing him. I was really hoping to show him to you today. Here we have a colony of the milkweed bugs. And these appear to be mostly young ones. This is definitely where I saw the caterpillar yesterday. I can see how he was eating it around there and I could see that when I took his picture yesterday.